That's right. We're here in the Bahamas now, boy. You can't tell behind me. This water is looking epic. I'm gonna try to find some conch, some lobster. Maybe stick a couple hogfish. See what we get into. Look at this. Lobster in the Bahamas. So in the Bahamas, yeah, you're allowed to spear your lobster. Nice. So that's the reason that we have it on the spear nice here. In the States, you're not allowed to spear them. You're only allowed to tickle stick them and net them. Look at this water. About to find some conch on this little ledge right here. So I had a lot of people on the boat. We were all looking around. This is the first time we've ever been to West End on our own. And we're just scouring the area, looking for places that conch will be hiding, lobster fish, seeing what we can get into. So we're here right now pulling these people over some ledges. Look at this view, guys. It's awesome. I don't even think the camera does it justice. Woo! Picking up some hogs, some conch, towing people around. All right, we're at Memory Rock. Snorkeling around, see what we see. Hopefully, we get some more conch and uh, lobster. So we traveled about 10 more miles to the north, past Memory Rock, and we just came into a whole pile of conch. And we ended up getting all the conch for us and another boat together. It was an epic time. Had all the kids diving, grabbing them a conch. It was really awesome. The water was super clear and it was about 20 foot deep. In the Bahamas, it's six conch per boat and it has to have a well-developed flaring lip. Now for the fun part. You gotta beat into the, about the third ring, beat a little hole there. And the main thing I haven't done in a long time is to get a knife in there, um, either a butter knife or something with a blunt edge. We started with a fillet knife, which wasn't really the correct way of doing it, but it's been a long time, like I said. Uh, we ended up figuring it out later, but the kids jumped in, and that was the whole fun part while we were working on stuff. The kids jumped in and they got busy. And they started pulling these conch out quicker than I could clean them. And yes, I did find another use for the tuna dispatcher. This was perfect tool for the job. He's not, buddy. So after messing with it for a little while, one of the locals told us that if you take a sharp knife and cut the conch, they'll actually suck back in as a defense mechanism. You need something with a blunt edge, like a butter knife or something round, and push them out of the shell. There's one. <laughs> there it is. We got it. Now we got to clean them all up. This is the part of the video that really cracks me up. These kids jumped in here and got these conch out fast. They started pulling them out. They were having a blast laughing, and that's what it's all about, making memories in the Bahamas. They got in there and got dirty, and it was hilarious. Grab that claw. Oh, Brody's got the claw hand. He's got a hold on him. He's gonna tap him out. <laughs> tap him out, Brody. <laughs> Send the hook. Oh my god. So here's a good close-up of Cam using the tuna dispatcher. 
The tuna dispatcher has a nice blunt end. It's not sharp. And all we're doing is we're not cutting the conch. We're actually just pushing it out of the shell and grabbing it with our hand. It pretty much just comes right out. <laughs> Hold the shell. This is the not so clean part of the whole deal. You got to skin the whole conch, cut the foot off, cut the uh, insides out, you know, the, all the intestinal stuff of the conch, and uh, just pretty much cut anything bad off it. It takes it a minute, but it's pretty fast once you get the hang of it. Um, and it leaves you with nice white meat. You do leave some of it on. Some people leave the, the pink or the orange on. I just like to skin it all, have nice white meat. Now the conch are really slimy and later on you'll see we got to take salt and uh, pour salt on it and you scrub it with salt and then wipe it off and it takes all that slime off but while I'm doing this you can see it slipping out of my hands it's really slimy. And in this part, I'm taking out the intestines and just the digestive tract of the conch. I'm um, just cleaning it all out. And uh, it's like I said, it's very slimy. I'm trying to get all the rest of the skin off. And you can see it's a pretty tedious job there with it being that slimy. There it is. All right. One down, five more to go. So you can see I'm starting the next one. I'm not going to go through this next one, but I am uh, going to go ahead and clean the rest of these, get them all ready for our conch salad. All right, so we're back at the house, back at home in Port Orange, Florida. I got the conch here. I got all the ingredients, two lemons, two limes, an orange, an orange pepper, and a full onion. I also have some conch and some cilantro. The first thing we need to do is coat the conch in salt and scrub it. We wanna get all that slime off, and this is how you do it with the salt. You scrub it real good, then you just rinse it in fresh water. I also see a little piece of skin. This is the time to cut that little piece off and prep your meat perfectly but you definitely need to scrub it really good wash it off and uh, make sure it's nice and clean and as you can see I got four whole conch here and we're cutting them up we're washing them making sure everything's good cutting every, all the little pieces of skin that I still see on there and just getting all that slime off. We're gonna pack them in paper towels. Now it's time to start cutting the vegetables. We're gonna cut the onion up first and dice it up into nice small cubes. Now for the pepper, same thing with the pepper, dice it up, nice small cubes, and we're gonna put it right in the bowl, start mixing everything together. Gonna grab a handful of cilantro leaves, cut them up nice, um, just, a, just a thick cut, nothing crazy. Just cut them up a little bit, and we're gonna mix that in there just for a good taste. So now it's time to cut up the conch. I just score it, really, not go all the way through it, and I do like a quick little waffle style score and then I start cutting it up that way it makes it a little bit uh, less chewy conch is a very chewy meat so you want to kind of dice it up very small not too small where you don't get the chew some people like the chew uh, the chewiness of it my wife does especially but uh, you can cut it up into small pieces and then put it in
So I'm just finishing up the last little bit of conch right here. I'm gonna put it in there and stir it around. All right, now it's time we're gonna cut up and quarter all the lemons, all the limes, and the orange there. Also, my brother-in-law dropped me off an adult beverage I see, which is nice. But we use all this citric acid to cook the actual meat of the conch. And that's how it cooks it, with the acid from all these uh, citric acids. It really, really turns it white when you put it in there. So we're gonna quarter these up squish all the juice in there and then mix it around again. So lastly, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a little bit of sriracha, that's what I like in it for a little bit of heat. I also add a little salt, a little pepper, just to taste, and it's whatever you prefer, but pretty much it's done after this. Well, there it is, all done. Only took me about 15 minutes to get it all done. Mixed all the ingredients, used the acid from the limes the lemons and the oranges to kind of cook up the ceviche um it's real good has a good texture real good yeah we brought a few of them back with us and i did them back here so that was good main thing is, is the salt when you're cleaning them get the slime off them put a bunch of salt on them rub them real good and then wash them off it gets that slime off of them and uh, just make sure there's no little bits of the skin on there and that's pretty much it it's pretty easy so all right well i hope you all like this video and if you haven't yet please hit that subscribe button also if you like this hat i'm wearing i'm going to be doing a giveaway this week so the only stipulations to this giveaway is i'm giving away 10 free hats 10 free hats i have white and black pink and charcoal and charcoal and black the only stipulations you have to do is you have to like this video comment on this video and then share this video on some sort of mo social media platform if you have it and this is only through grade for grade school kids k through 12. Um, later on i'm gonna have a website selling these hats but i want to try to promote uh younger anglers and outdoors so if, if you're in uh grade school still like the video comment if you don't have social media don't worry about it just uh just leave a comment and like the first 10 people i will contact you all right well i appreciate everybody watching again see you on the next video